Hey, welcome back everyone. It's me again, Teched Off, and in this video, as opposed to the last one I had up, which was more of an overview of the whole setup and how it came to be, I thought I'd give you guys a little bit more of an in-depth analysis of what I have and how it works for me and some of the struggles I've had in the last couple weeks that I've had this setup. So let's get started and let's take a closer look, shall we? All right, so instead of boring you guys and going through the actual pieces of the desk that we already did in the last video, I figured we just uh, kind of start on the top here and work our way right with everything I'm working with here and uh, I'll explain to you guys what I got. So over here are these, uh, let's see if we can study this a little bit, little elephant uh, bookends here, about 40 bucks at Ikea. Uh, I don't have any books here yet, but as soon as I start reading, I promise I'll have some in there. So those are nice, just a little something extra. And of course, my uh, Audio Technica, Audio Technica uh, microphone here. Got it in the bundle. There will be a video in the uh, in the description as well as up top if you're interested. In my uh, thoughts on it. It's a really nice mic. Gives you really good sound. And uh, if you get the bundle that I picked up, it's a really good price too. So uh, really worked well for me. So um, yeah, there's that. Oh yeah, LEDs. Put your link in the description. Makes any. Uh, any setup look better, kind of spices it up. You can, you know, change colors and do all sorts of fading combinations and whatnot. Really cheap and uh, really effective way to spice up your setup a little bit. If uh, if that's your thing, of course, a lot of people I'm sure don't really care at all about what their setup looks like as long as it uh, works. But to each their own. And a little coaster. I don't want to damage this new table, so uh, just kind of stole it from my parents <laughs> for now. I'll probably end up buying my own eventually, but um, it works, protects the table, so um, that's always good. And of course, the center of it all, the uh, Corsair K70 RGB uh, keyboard and my M65 Pro RGB mouse. You can see I got them linked up together. Uh, another uh, extended mouse mat picked up on Amazon. You can get a, pretty much anything you want on Amazon these days, but it cost me about 30 bucks. I do think the uh, extended mouse mat uh, kind of Makes it look a little cleaner, but that's just my opinion. A couple of uh, cheap uh, Asus 1080p monitors. Haven't decided if I'm going to go Team Red or Team Green yet for my uh, my eventual good monitor that I want to put in the middle here and pick up a triple monitor stand. But this dual monitor stand was only uh, about 30 bucks. Looks a lot neater, frees up a lot of desk space, and um, looks clean. It's fun to look at, so... Moving on, use a uh, Logitech G930 headset, pretty much for all sound. I'm uh, in an apartment, so uh, privacy is a big deal for me, and uh, don't want to piss off the neighbors too much. So I got that, and of course, also part of that bundle was my Focusrite USB uh, exterior DAC, which of course you see the XLR cable there that goes to the uh, heads right over to the mic, and um. It's worked great so far. Haven't had any problems with it. Got a nice uh, brushed aluminum finish, but uh, you can check out that video if you uh, want a little bit of a closer in depth look at it. And of course, my computer. Nothing too special. Just a uh, 760 T case from Corsair. Of course, uh, the custom filters all over the tower. If you're uh, interested in that review, I'll have that in the description as well as up top if you're interested. Um, I like them. I went with the white. Kind of to complement the case. Got a nice white one up top too, blends in nicely. And I'll put the specs of my computer in the description if you're interested. It's nothing too special actually, it's kind of underwhelming compared to most of you I'm sure. But um, it's worked for me so far and um, I think it looks pretty nice. So that's my computer and we'll go up top before we head into the Alex drawers. Just a bunch of uh, random anime posters that I like. Oh, about 15 bucks each. Just a little personality and some stickers I got free from a buddy of mine. Just a little nice touch. Nothing too special, but um, I'll give you an overhead look again in just a minute. But first, lots and lots of storage in these Alex drawers. You'll see what I mean here in a minute. But starting here, it's just kind of my miscellaneous uh, school stuff and my webcam, which I don't... Uh, actually don't leave connected all the time I'm a little paranoid about that but um some extra stoppers that I put between the Alex drawer and the table just to keep the table from you know shifting around and whatnot 
and just some other miscellaneous garbage that I don't know what to do with. Here, nothing but Ethernet cables, three hole punch. I don't know why that's in there, I'll move that probably later. And a power strip, just extra extra stuff. And I uh, I do recommend putting shelf liner in these. Um, when I first got in and I opened and closed them, the, uh, the stuff would really slide around, but for a dollar at the dollar store, it does a really nice job, so. Oh, stick that in there. Just a little something to be aware of if you're thinking of doing this setup. A motherboard box with a bunch of boring SATA cables and whatnot. And some CDs if you still use them. I don't know why I still have them, but you never know. Just in case. So those are in there as well. Second from the bottom is the Fabled DataVac ED500. And I did get the ESD safe version because I'm paranoid like that. And once again, a link to this video will be in the description as well as up top if you're interested. I uh, use it quite often, as uh, you can tell it's not really neatly put away, but I um, haven't had any problems whatsoever with it, and um, it was a very uh, worthwhile investment in my opinion, so there's that. And down here on the bottom is, of course, all my extra hard drive cages, because if you... Uh, if you saw my tower earlier, I don't use hard drives. I'm uh, all SSD now, so those just kind of sleep in there for a while. And some extra fans, just the cheap ones that came with my old build. And uh, yeah, no, no LEDs or anything, just boring three pin fans. So there's that. And I guess we'll go to the other Alex store first, and then we'll head to the middle there. Got a little to talk about there, but. Over on this side is all my uh, fix-it tools, velcro straps, my mounting tape that I used for my uh, cable management, I'll show you that soon, my command strips that uh, did not work, that was my uh, first plan, throw that up there actually, screwdriver, pliers, tape, measure, pretty much anything you need for some quick uh, TLC on your build, and uh, again the shelf liner holds everything in place, so very nice there. And fun stuff, Xbox 360 controllers, some batteries for said controllers, and just some random stuff from uh, my IKEA Signums that I used to cable manage. I'll show you those in just a minute. Microfiber cloths, tons of them. And uh, picked these up actually on clearance at Home Depot. They had them for like 40 cents, so I grabbed like a dozen of them. and. Uh, Obviously, plenty of them have gotten dirty after a while, you know, changing thermal paste and whatnot, so this is what's left. It'll last me quite a while, I'm sure, and um, yeah, can never have too many, right? Let's go down to the next one. Phone stuff and more cleaning stuff. We got cleaning wipes, insignia, isopropyl alcohol, my soon-to-be-retired soon, yeah, soon Galaxy Note 5. A uh, little trap phone, just in case. A uh, little auxiliary jack I used to use in my car. Extra power bricks, extra micro USB, and extra headphones. So, all my phone stuff lives in there. And finally, computer software. Some old games, college learning stuff, Age of Empires, and GameCube controllers. So, kind of my random do-nothing drawer. But, um... Tons of space, as you can see. Space that I don't even know what to do with, so I just kind of started throwing random crap in there, but... Now what I want to show you is the cable management underneath. While it may not be perfect, I do think it is a lot better than it used to be. And I'll show you here. I actually went with two of them, because this is a very long desk. I did go with the, uh, the longer version of this thing here, so... It's not neat, but it's effective. You're sitting up there, you can't really see it, and it's out of the way goes up there so and I did pick up a couple of uh like I said I would a couple of these legs they're only five bucks and um yeah I didn't even drill either I didn't even have to I just uh wedged them under there with a the little uh shelf liner in between so I don't scratch the table and uh it's working really nice this table is uh even with my uh heavy body pushing down on it it ain't going anywhere so very happy with how that turned out. Didn't have to drill into the desk at all, and you can still have a really, really clean setup, so... Very happy with that, how that turned out. And now, I just thought...
close things out, I can just give you a little, uh, last little overview. If you have any suggestions, please let me know in the comments. I love to know if you guys suggest anything, if I should take this stuff down, rearrange it. Uh, you know, stuff like that. If I should take stuff out, consider adding some stuff. Please let me know. I'm always interested in, uh, learning about, you know, new setups and what the newest trends are and what people are doing, because most of these ideas, honestly, I uh, borrowed from other people on Reddit and uh, other YouTubers, stuff like that. But um, this is kind of my version on the budget, so I thought it turned out okay. But um, yeah, leave any uh, comments below if you have any questions or you want to make some suggestions to me, and uh, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for joining me, and uh, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, guys. Later. Peace.